up here in the, uh, the peninsula. What I've done today is uh, all of these areas where the push pins were uh, put in in part two have now had their holes drilled. So there's a, there's a little hole down in there. It's hard to do it when you're, when you're holding this. And then what I'm going to do next is these are all my uh, pre-made track feeders. And uh, I think there's probably 250 of them or so in here. And what I'm going to do next is to start taking, you know, a red one and a green one. And notice uh, they are tinned already. And I put them in upside down. I have to find the hole. I'm nearsighted. So I just put them in upside down for the time being. And what I'll do is I'll go through and put them all in. Pardon me. Put them all in like that. And then I pick up the push pins. So that's the, uh, the next part to do is to get all of those put in. And then uh, what I'll do is I will take get the soldering iron and I will uh, solder those to the track, uh, all the joints in the track that need to be soldered. And uh, then after that, then I'll be doing these. I'll be putting them underneath the layout in different places, generally underneath where they're, where they're at. Um, I didn't do this level yet because I'm going to be moving this stuff around so that uh, I can get in there pretty easily because um, they're going to be sharing both this upper level and this level are going to be sharing the area under under the layout back in here. Some will be on one side uh, of the wood and other ones will be on the other side. I don't know if you can see my fingers, but like the top level might be on the left and the, and the mid level or the main level here will be on, on the right side. And uh, I ran out of uh, red push pins, so I'm using blue ones. This is where the feeds for the, uh, the LED indicators that the power's on on these tracks. And that'll be, I'll be putting those down in, down in this area and here on the fascia. Uh, eventually the fascia will be put on there. Um, you can see over here that I've got one of my, uh, my push buttons here for the uh, tortoise that's over there. That's here before the fascia is put on. I'll just remove it at some point, put the fascia on and put it back. Not, not a big deal. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And um, I won't get this all soldered today. It's quite a bit of work. Uh, see you in the next part. here in the, uh, the Elizabeth City area, which is on the top of the uh, upper level of the uh, peninsula. And what I've been doing since then is laying out where everything goes. That's the next step. And actually it helps because I caught a couple of things I missed. But what you can see is I've laid out where the feeds go. Those are for the frog juicers on here. Here are some more uh, track feeds, they'll go 
probably be mounted on that 2x4 back there, which supports the uh, cantilevered upper level. Frog juicer there, some feeds, and I did a change there. And you, can, you can see right there, did some crossing out. The wire from uh, the one that's over here is, is way too short to go all the way over there. So I, I'm going to put it in there, and I had an extra th three holer uh, terminal strip, so I'll just I'll just use that one there. So anyway, here's the, what some of the feeders look like underneath. Uh, they're soldered. Uh, it's kind of hard sometimes to uh, to see where to solder in the uh, end scale track because the the webs are really small. So uh, I use uh, some clamps to. Uh, uh, dissipate the heat when I'm soldering. Here's some more track feeds. This is uh, uh, where the second part of the feeds go for tracks one to four, which make up this yard. So I'm trying to keep them pretty close to it where they go. And for the this level, I'm either putting them on the back or they're going on the left side. So here's here's some more. Uh, this is I just lay it out this way. I just find it it's easier for me to do it and uh, Just just to let you know How I do it. I, I had one person that that was very interested uh, So these will all be attached the, the next time. Here's some more um, Here's another few and here's the uh, the first section of track feed and you can see them underneath the track right there where they come down. Now I use 18 gauge wire uh, to attach to these. This is 22. I use the, a male connector here uh, and then I'll run that down to when I put this terminal strip in. I know it's extra wiring. That's just the way I like to do it. It makes it very modular. I can disconnect here, can disconnect there. And then from here, these will get jumpered since since there'll be four reds and four greens. They'll be jumpered. That'd be another thing to do before I mount these onto the side here. And then everything will be marked, and that'll be the next thing I'll show you when I get, get to that part. Um, here's just some more of the, you can see the finished solder joints on the top. Um, there's a feed for the hex frog juicer. Um, there's six of them there, and I made a change there. I had actually forgotten the frog for this one. And you notice I've annotated on a table. I thought I had 14. I actually had 15 frogs that need uh, frog juicers. So I had to do a little adjusting. And what I do is I gather the wires to make sure that they'll reach where I want them to go, and then those will get go from there to here. Now I had to add here's some more power feeds for this this section this section up in here, and then down in here I had three mono frog juicers. I had just had to order one, and then there's the the feeds over there for those three, and then here's some uh, power feeder. This this will go go in there. Um, there's stuff on the other side, and I'll I'll stop briefly, and we'll go to the other a couple of feeds for this for this loop here. You can see the solder joint. Yeah, they look pretty big in uh, end scale. That's just hazard of having it. And there's a track joint. And I use emery boards, you know, the kind women use to file down their nails. Um, that's what I use to file down the track when I do the soldering, it makes it nice and smooth. So, right there, let's use the emery board. I don't have any handy. And then the PSX AR, the auto reverser, is gonna go down here. And then here's a connection for the frog juicer for here. And then the uh, PSX AR. The PSX AR has to be uh, connected directly to the booster. And uh, there is a place, as I swing around, down in here, and this board down in here, this terminal strip, where all the power gets distributed to things like auto reversers. 
And remember, the only reason I need auto reverse is should I decide to use that loop? And it's just, just in case, otherwise I'd have made this a stub. And then the final thing, here's the, uh, the power feeds for the uh, two tracks up here that belong to the stockyard. Um, and once again, this 12-gauge wire here with the white strip every so often is power bus number four for power district number four. So anyway, that's kind of what I've been doing. So the next thing we'll do is uh, I'll get these terminal strips uh, attached on the, on the work table, bench, whatever we want to call it, and uh, I'll let you see what that is. Thank you for watching. Bye.